Hello guys, today is Wednesday, October 31st, 2018. The time is 5.26 p.m. Um, first up, hope everyone had a great Halloween. Um, let me know in the comment section down below what you dressed up as, if you did dress up. Um, or if you just bought a big bag of candy, that's cool too. Just let me know in the comments down below. Um, Okay, now today, I was gonna do this earlier. I did have makeup on earlier, but I actually had to take a shower for an unimportant reason. So I've decided to redo this video, as my first one sucked. Um, and I'm sorry if I scratch my nose and stuff like that, because I always seem to get like really itchy when I do videos, but we're gonna just get right into it. Okay, first thing we're gonna use is a NYX HD Studio Concealer. I have two of them, that's why I said use a NYX HD Studio Concealer. Come on, there you go. Yeah, one's a little bit more yellowy looking, but this is my actual natural shade. And since I'm starting to lose my tan, I think it's more ideal that I start using this again. And for foundation, I will be using the NYX Can't Stop Won't Stop Foundation. The only one that I probably will ever get to buy because they did not, they do not carry it at the Ulta around here right now. Or I don't know, maybe that's just a temporary thing that they're just doing. Okay, but. Let's get right into it. Um, and also, if you are new to my channel, please note this, that I have bad vision. I wear glasses when I'm not doing makeup tutorials. My right eye is um, really bad. So, yeah, it's going to be hard when I can't see sometimes. And to blend this out, I'm going to be using a little black sponge by Profusion. Um, I love them. I have their brush kit right here. I don't have the main sponge anymore. I don't have the big one anymore. And, uh, because I used it all. I used it, but I used it till it was really, really, really dirty. That's why I decided to throw it away and get a new one. Um, we're trying to make this quick as possible because sometimes I know that it takes me a while to do my foundation, powder, and concealer, and I really don't want that. I want to try this all in one take, and if not, I'm just going to go ahead and say it. I will cut off at probably 10 or 11 minutes if I have to because, uh, you know, uh, trying to get this to be as even as possible. Okay, and I did forget to tell you at the beginning of this video, I will be using one brand of makeup throughout this entire video, um, because I have an entire box full of the NYX products. Um, only things that are not from NYX is my brushes, my MAC foundation brush, which I actually am not going to be using my normal brush kit. Actually, this reminds me that I need to use the older one, other one, like I said I would. I dropped something, but I can, I'll get it after the video is over. I just got this brush kit. Um, not this one, this is a little bit older, but this four here. Um... So we're just going to use them. So we're going to be using this foundation brush right here by Wet n Wild, which I don't have any NYX brushes yet, but by Christmas time, I probably will, or after Christmas time. So please note that I have Sephora, I have um, one by MAC, I used to have a bunch, and I have some by Victoria, Victoria's Secret, or Juicy Code Shore, sorry, Profusion, and Sephora. Okay, I know this is a lot of foundation, but we're going to try to cover my whole face with this bit here. I hope that powder thing I just dropped is not broke, because I'll be pissed off if it is. He sees my language. Okay, we're just going to dab everything up here. This foundation in particular makes my face burn sometimes, but uh... That's only when I haven't used it for a while. Your skin has to get used to the formula of it again. I use their um, Total Control Drop Foundation usually because 
it really does work, but this stuff works great too. Um, let's see how well this brush is performing. Give me one second here. I'm gonna have to use my little mirror here. It looks like it's doing pretty well, doing what I want it to do. And I actually discovered, I think I like the brushed sensation of foundation more than a sponge. I mean, I still like the sponge. I'm gonna have to add some more foundation to it. Give me a minute here. But sometimes I feel like the sponge just soaks everything right in and that is really a complete waste of product. And I just squirt a foundation all over my, you know, apron that I'm wearing. This is my makeup apron and I'm going to be using it in all my makeup videos if possible if it's not in a washing machine or anything. Mm -hmm. And what I dropped was a NYX HD Studio setting powder. I pressed one that I use as like a highlight, like a white contour, what do you call it, for my blush. And I'm trying to hurry here. I know this is getting incredibly long already. And I just wanted to be all in one take, but it looks like it's probably not going to be. See? I believe that's all done. I think, I don't know. We'll look here in a second. Okay, we definitely have to make sure the eyes and everything match. And it's really killing me not to go pick that up to see if it's broke, but I don't think I will because I don't want to like ruin my video or waste any time in the video. Unless I can like reach over and grab it with my leg or something, which I probably can if I tried. But it ain't important right now. I have to remember that. Really? Okay, I'm gonna put the brushes up as I go. And for powder, I'll be using the Wet n Wild powder brush. I love. It. I actually used to have one like this set. Um, I love it. And as per usual, this is not going to give me the right amount of powder. So we're just gonna find out here what we can do with a little bit of powder because I really don't feel like dumping a whole lot out. Oh, this hat. This has a stink to it. Oh my god. Okay, now we are done with my powder because I don't have a whole lot left in this compact. It's this one, the NYX Mineral Loose uh, Leaf Powder, I just call it that. And it's really called the Set and Don't Fret It Powder, but I, I just call it that usually. And um, please note that I don't have the other eyeshadow brush yet, but I might by the end of the day because we're about to head out to the dollar store and they have them there. Um, that's why I'm trying to hurry through this because I kind of don't want to wait my wait on my sister like have her wait on me for like twenty thousand minutes. Um, and for blush, we're using the NYX Ombre Blush in the color Mauve Me, and we're just going to take this. I think this is contour brush, but I plan on getting a blush brush soon. Okay, now this does not show up a whole lot. This will be as quick as I can possibly get it because I'm not really doing anything simple or like real hard today, like uh, any fancy makeup looks. I hope that that thing didn't break when I dropped it. But if it did, then I guess I don't have one anymore. Okay, we're done with that. We're putting the brushes in my container up here because I have nowhere else to put them. 
Oh yeah, I forgot. I have this brush I can use for the crease of my eyes. Um, and we're not going to use any eyeshadow primer today. We're just going to do a simple look because it's already almost... Hold on a minute. Let me reply real quick. Sorry, my sister texted me, but um, we're just going to do something like a um, simple eyeshadow look. And we're going to start with this one here. This is a NYX palette here. I can't really read what that says. Regret filter, I think. But I bought this at Ulta Beauty and I paid like $28 for it. But I think it was worth every penny. We go over here because, like I said in my beginning part of the video, that my right eye is my worst side, so it's best if I start with this side because I have to be able to see my right eye. See, or my left eye, sorry. But when I open this eye, everything is clear. Like when I go to do this side, like this, it'll be clear. And it won't be perfect, but it'll be clear. Let me try to collect a little bit more here. Wow. This eyeshadow brush collects a lot of eyeshadow onto it. Now we're going to go into this brush here and we're going to take. Oh crap, really? <laughs> Sorry about that. We're going to take this color on the end here and we're just going to put it in the crease of my eye. And my sister is asking to go in the store with her so I will be finishing up here very soon anyways I already did my cheeks I already did my powder and stuff like that so we're just going to get this video uploading while I'm gone <sighs> okay and lastly we're gonna take this yellowish color here and use the same brush and I have to do mascara. I'm not doing eyeliner today. I don't really like to wear eyeliner a whole lot. But this will only take like a few minutes to do. So, or a few seconds to do, not a few minutes. I should have done this side first because it looks terrible if I don't. Okay. Now I got three more steps, which is mascara. We're gonna try to make this as quick as we possibly can so we can get this uploaded to YouTube tonight. It's the best I can do because I'm in a bit of a rush, obviously. Okay, lastly, not really lastly, but we have to do this anyway, setting spray. And the true last thing is lipstick, which I will be using this one. Oh, sorry. Um, this will only take a few seconds to do, and I'll be cutting off. Because I had to go in literally a few minutes, because she's coming over here. So yeah, perfect. See you in the next one, bye.